up legends? How beautiful is the weather today here on the island of Sardinia in Italy? Now on a day like today, I love to go and shoot underwater footage with my Insta360 X3. When I shoot like this, I always use the Insta360 dive case to capture the most seamless underwater stitching. However, if you've got this set up, you've probably noticed that there's just a little bit of the dive case that can't be managed to render out of the footage. And it's a little frustrating. However, Today, Insta360 are launching their brand new Invisible Dive Kit, which comes bundled with the brand new Invisible Dive Case, which they've said is set to solve this seamless underwater stitching problem. But you know what? I didn't really want to take their word for it. The sun is shining, the weather is good, the ocean is blue and vast. Why don't we actually test it out and see if this is the answer to all of our underwater seamless stitching problems. <laughs> like a microphone. Hey, hello. You might be wondering, why do I even need a dive case in the first place? Anna, are you really trying to sell me another accessory? Well, I am not because yes, the X3 naked on its own is waterproof to 10 meters, which is 33 feet for my American friends. But it turns out that the light refraction of air and water is different. Water has a higher light refraction rate, which messes with the 360 stitching algorithm, which is why you need a case. And with this invisible dive case, you actually have the ability to now make it seamless, which is amazing. And like you've seen, I mean, the shots speak for themselves, right? Guys, when it comes to creating the invisible selfie stick, there is a right and a wrong way to go about this. And you've probably already worked this out above the water with your Insta360 X3. When the camera is perpendicular to the selfie stick, you achieve the seamless stitching results. And that is because these two 180 degree lenses manage to stitch out this section of the image. So <laughs> when it comes to taking this same experiment underwater, it is of utmost importance to keep the invisible dive case perpendicular to the selfie stick. If it is bent, you are not gonna be able to achieve the underwater invisible selfie stick, and it will not be an invisible underwater dive case. <laughs> so if your cousin Dimmy has been having the same problem with underwater 360 footage, maybe it's time to punch that thumbs up or share the video with him, all right? We're just covering some frequently asked questions for those of you who might have them. Number one, whether it's compatible with other Insta360 models. Unfortunately, it's not. It's just with the X3, but that means you might want to add it to your Christmas list right now for upgrade if you can. Second question is whether you can use this camera sort of like as protective gear above water to film out and about. Uh, the answer is no. It's exclusively designed to best perform underwater. Number three, how do you upkeep that dive case, how do you make sure it has a long lifespan? Like anything that goes underwater with you, especially in salty environment, you wanna make sure you rinse it with fresh water when you're done, and ideally let it soak in a bucket of fresh water for about 60 minutes, and then you're good to go. That goes for the selfie stick, that goes for your fins, it's just best practice when you're taking stuff underwater with you. We hope you enjoyed exploring Sardinia both from above and below with the Insta360 X3. And if you've enjoyed these incredible, invisible, seamless shots with the X3 underwater, then make sure you pick up an Insta360 X3 invisible dive kit, which is the top link in the description. If you've got any questions about the kit, drop us a comment below and we'll see you guys in the next upload. Peace!